Welcome to the Mega Unboxing. Today we are going to unbox the Cloud Red Galaxy S20 FE, Gold iPhone 12 Pro and the White iPhone 12. Before we go ahead, a subscription to my channel would be massively appreciated. And if you find this video useful at some point, hit the like button too. Here is a box of the S20 FE and you can see some key specs of this phone at the bottom including its RAM and storage which is 8 gigs and 1 to 8 gigs. Price of the S20 FE for different regions is appearing on your screen. Let's quickly unwrap this box. Here is a freebie redemption card for the pre-ordered stock. I'll be getting a Samsung Gear Fit 2 and uh, along with it is a warranty card too. Let's get into the box now. Before I get to the phone, let me tell you about the box. These shapes embedded into the box, this texture gives this box a very unique look, a slight cosmetical upgrade for the fans. And here is our cloud red Galaxy S20 FE, looks really beautiful. I'll turn it on and put it on a side for a while. In the box we get a 15 watt charging brick and a USB type C cable. Sadly, there is no headphone in the box. And yeah, we do get this sleeve in the box. In this we get a SIM eject pin and paperwork. There isn't even a TPU case in this phone's box this time. Alright, here is the S20 FE. Thankfully, there is a screen protector on the front. The curve back with a matte finish gives this phone a sophisticated look and it has a good feel. It's not gonna pick up uh, the fingerprints and smudges the aluminium frame of this Cloud Red S20 FE has a very nice color too which goes in line with the color of its body. It looks more like a mixture of gold and red. At the bottom you get a speaker grill, a primary mic, a USB type C port, nothing on the left, power button and the volume rocker are on the right side, SIM tray at the top along with the secondary mic. I will quickly set this phone up and get back to you guys. S20 FE runs on the One UI 2.5 out of the box and you get the premium flagship features in the software with no compromises at all. There is wireless decks, the nearby and quick share features and the screen recorder is there. This is a 120Hz display so you are going to get a really good experience with the animations on this phone. 120Hz is turned on by default, you can scale it down to 60Hz too. I think this is the adoptive refresh rate unlike the standard S20's 120Hz panel. The S20 FE is powered by Exynos 990 chipset. There is a Snapdragon 865 plus 5G variant but that's not available in my region. This phone is powered by a battery of 4500mAh and its battery drain test uh, is on its way. I am working on that right now. Bezels of the S20 FE are a bit thick but I am personally okay with these as these will kind of add to the protection of this display. This is a 6.5 inches Super AMOLED Plus display on the front with a 1080p resolution and has the Gorilla Glass 3 protection on the front. Camera app of the S20 FE is quite powerful. I like the availability of 4K up to 60 frames per second uh, and various video recording options in the video pro mode. This camera is equipped with optical image stabilization. Camera sensor details are on your screen already. Take a look at some Galaxy S20 FE camera samples and then we are going to unbox the iPhone 12 Pro. I've got this 256 gigs variant of the iPhone 12 Pro and as you can already see, it comes in this extremely sleek box. Let's not waste any time at all and get into its box. A 
at the top we get this iphone 12 pro and underneath we have a lightning to usb c cable some paperwork and apple sticker and that's about it so this is the new iphone 12 pro with an all new uh, cutting edge design i must say it's the premiumness overloaded the frame of this iphone is just too damn premium it feels almost like a mirror the finish is great and it's got a really solid grip let's power and set up the iphone 12 now The iPhone is all set. Uh, what I like the most about this phone is how big its power button is. It's rock solid and easy to reach to. The volume button and the silent sliders are on the left side and are equally tactile. SIM card slot is also on the left side. At the bottom you find the speaker and the lightning USB port. iPhone 12 Pro runs on the iOS 14 out of the box. 6.1 inches 1170 into 2532 Super Retina XDR OLED display with ceramic glass protection on the top. This is a Dolby Vision display and you can already see how cool it is. I like the bezel profile of this phone. I really wish Apple does something about that notch too. This time around we are getting a RAM of 6 gigs in the iPhone 12 Pro and as I told you guys this is a 256 gigs variant and all the iPhone 12 smartphones are powered by the A14 Bionic chipset. The three main cameras at the back include a 12 megapixels main camera, 12 megapixels telephoto, 12 megapixels ultra wide camera, and a lidar sensor. It's got a 12 megapixels camera on the front too. Uh, the camera supports 4K up to 60 frames per second, and iPhone's optical image stabilization is unquestionable. I will attach some camera samples here to give you guys a slightly better idea. Inside uh, the phone we get a 2815mAh battery. I am currently recording the battery drain test of the iPhone 12 Pro and the complete test will be out on the channel within the next 24 hours as I told you. In that test I am going to include the iPhone 12 and the Galaxy S20 FE as well. So make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for that test. The iPhone 12 Pro uses a 20 watt charging brick and it does support wireless charging too. Now obviously it does not come with a charger in the box and you have to uh, get the charging brick on your own. Uh, you can either get a 20 watt charging brick for 20 bucks from Apple or there is the MagSafe charger as well. It's happening for the very first time in a while that the iPhone has impressed me especially with the new features. In the iOS 14, the iPhones have come a long way and I might actually look into getting one of these new iPhones as my secondary phone in near future. It's time to unbox the iPhone 12 now. I have the 128GB variant of the iPhone 12 in the white color and the box only mentions a few specs of the phone and some box contents which are uh, definitely not a lot. The unboxing experience is exactly the same as iPhone 12 Pro. Nothing different in the box so we'll get straight to the phone. This white iPhone 12 has a shiny back which can attract a lot of fingerprints and smudges. Matte finish on this iPhone could do better but here it is now. The primary difference between the iPhone 12 Pro and the 12 is in the camera section and the LiDAR scanner which is obviously missing on the iPhone 12. The 12 doesn't have that third uh, telephoto lens either. The rest of the specs almost remain the same. Resolution, basic features, the A14 Bionic chipset Everything is the same on the iPhone 12. But yes, the 12 has a RAM of 4 gigs as compared to the 6 gigs RAM on the iPhone 12 Pro. And yes, the 12 has a brightness of 650 nits while the iPhone 12 Pro has a brightness of 800 nits. Here are the camera details of the iPhone 12 on your screen. I will also attach some camera samples for you guys to take a look at.
and let's talk about the real thing now. The iPhone 12 and 12 Pro speed test with the Galaxy S20 FE and the Galaxy A lineup are on their way. I have also conducted the Mega and Tutu and Geekbench and the 3D uh, Mark Gaming benchmark test on both the iPhone 12 and the iPhone 12 Pro and these videos will be out on the channel really soon as well. Since I have to move in a proper sequence, I cannot just shuffle the videos around. So make sure that you guys subscribe and you guys uh, drop by every now and then to stay tuned with the channel. Also, as I told you twice, a mega battery drain test with the S20 FES and Lite and the iPhone 12 uh, lineup is under progress right now. This mega battery drain test will be out sometime tomorrow. So once again, make sure to hit that red subscribe button and show some love to my channel. Drop your feedback about this video and about these phones in the comment section below if you like this video. Thumbs up. And with that said, I will sign off and see you all in the next video.